Okay, actually, guys, um, hold on, hold on one second. Uh, pause the music real quick. Um, a quick change of plans. Um. I have this bit that I want to do. I'm going to break character real quick. I have this bit that I want to do for the intro to this stream. And uh, to do that, I need to, like, look applicable. Not, like, I look disgusting right now. And I want to take a shower. So I'm going to go take a shower, I think. I will be back. I guess while he's in the shower, I'll explain to you what's going on. Up until this point in 2.2, we've had some difficult platforming levels come out, but when I got a new verification video in my recommended, I had to check it out. So this is the Abyss. It's definitely the first platformer level we can confidently call an extreme demon. It has an ambience that I personally think is my favorite in any level, let alone platformers, and it has one of the best payoffs in any extreme. It just goes to show what people can do with the new update. Anyways, Owen just hopped out of the shower. That was really quick. We should probably ask him if he got it everywhere. Uh, anyways, here's the journey of me beating the abyss. Basically, I've been on a losing streak with shaving the last two weeks. I've either cut myself by accident or today I forgot to put on aftershave. So my face is red as fuck right now. I put I put it on, but it's still not better, you know. I've done a lot of practice on the beginning of the level especially. Uh, so I think we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to make some movements. So basically, yeah, this is our, our life for the next uh, few hours, I think. I'm hoping I can get it done in tonight, you know. I don't want to have to extend this until tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned this on stream yet. But uh, I'm trying a lucid dream, and so I'm doing that entire, like, keeping your dreams written down. So far, it's been going pretty good. Uh, within the last, like, four days, I think I've had a solid two dreams. One of them was during a nap midday. So the second dream was an interesting one, because I put on I put on soundtracks for The Blind by Swans, right? It's a two-hour, two, two 20-minute long album, and I, I fell asleep. And what happened around the one-hour mark was I had a dream where I woke up and I had finished the album, but I genuinely felt like I did finish it, like, once I actually did wake up for real. Basically, what, what I think happened was, since there's such long breaks, there's just, like, such long breaks in between songs, what my mind did to uh, sort of make sense of it was me finishing the album, realizing it was done, and then going back to listen to some of the other songs on it, just, like, the highlights on it. But I never actually finished it. In actuality, I was, I was nowhere near done with the album. I wasn't even halfway. I've already been streaming for... 40 minutes dude we've we've actually been playing the game for a solid uh four so we're in a good spot right now all right huge i've been on my uh my apex twin grind recently one album that i listened to originally uh, it wasn't that i was i wasn't super into it it's just that it's such an interesting project it's uh selected ambient works 2 it's the longest album i've ever actually listened to it's uh two hours and 40 minutes long all right i gotta get my left hand locked it it just doesn't feel like as tight as i want it to it just feels kind of loose which you do want but not to the extent that it is right now mm. Yeah, we'll do this one. I do love the music of this level, but it's a little bit tiresome hearing the same part over and over, so. Dude, it's crazy to think that, like, these songs came out in between 1985 and 1992. This feels way ahead of its time. But, like, if you do think about it, it also does kind of have that sound palette from, like, the 80s. Just gotta make sure the left hand feels nice and... Uh, nice and in it, dude. It doesn't feel nice and in it right now. Dude, why? I, my my left hand, I, like, I'm not trying to make excuses, but my left hand genuinely just does not feel right right now. Like, it doesn't feel bad or anything. It just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel right. It just feels all, like, willy nilly -ly. Oh, Okay, you know what? No, here, here's what we're gonna do. Shit, my dad took them. All right, guys, I feel like it kind of helped. Oh, come on. But we're already seeing better results after I did the curls, so... About to get money like curls. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Okay, people, tomorrow morning. You know what? Honestly, this is just a bunch of malarkey. I'm gonna say it right here. I'm gonna say it because people don't want me to. 
Straight up a bunch of malarkey. This is a bunch of malarkey. This is a bunch of malarkey, dude. Dude, I don't know what's wrong. Why? I wasn't even thinking, dude. I was just like, the brain will carry me to the path I need to go. Leviticus 297. You know, I always say Leviticus 297. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe we should do like some, some holiness on this stream today. We need holiness right now. Leviticus 297. To speak to the sons of Israel, saying, He who offers the sacrifice of his peace offering to the Lord shall, shall bring his offering to the Lord for the sacrifice of his peace I don't know what that means. What is he what is he talking about? You shall not eat fat or ox or fat of ox or sheep or goat. Alright, thanks. Now that we got that out of the way. I swear if I turn this into a stream highlight, that's gonna go in the video, but someone will get mad. Do I care though? Probably not. Yes. Yes. I really like this section, actually. This is one of the better ones, I think. Last section, I don't like that much. The first section, I think, is okay. This song is incredible. I love this song so much. I remember the first day of school this year. Uh, very first period. I have a commons. So it's the first It's the first day. There's nothing to do. I didn't have any summer work. I didn't have anything to do. It was a... Damn it. So I was sitting there, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna listen to music. And this one was on my list for a while, so I, I popped it on, and I was like, all right. And I just remember being, like, lost in the sounds of this one. I think I, I took, like, a nap in the middle of it. Oh my god, I thought I didn't go over far enough. Okay, I can just walk off, right? Yeah. Alright, uh, I think this is the last... Yeah, this is the last room of the first layer, right? I think I used some coyote frames on that last one. Boys, I didn't know what coyote frames were until I searched them up when uh, we got them in this game mode. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're here. Hey, alright. Um... Uh, we're at layer two, baby. And yeah, I played like Donkey Kong Country Returns and I, I remember you had coyote frames in that game with the Kong letters. There was a, I think literally in the first level, there was something that taught you how coyote frames worked. And I think it's cool how like that's such a staple now. Oh, it's free from here. All right, we're done with that one. Oh, did we just do this first try? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We're making some good progress, actually. I'm really surprised because the second room was kind of a nightmare. But at least we got Ptolemy. What is this? Yeah, just Ptolemy. Okay. Ptolemy, I love this, like the train horn on this sound. It sounds so good. This might be like one of my favorite songs on the album. I think Crystal is definitely my favorite, but this is like one. This is close. Y'all see that picture of... Travis Scott wearing the Aphex Twin shirt? That's cool. See, we've known he's had a good ear, but now it's confirmed. Bro, I came back for revenge. Oh my god. See, I think the idea is I just don't want to be stuck in a spot for too long because then it becomes dry. And then it just genuinely becomes hard to, like, focus on what I we beat it. Okay, yeah, that room is not hard. Hey! There we go. Alright. Light work, boys. It's light work. It's crazy. We still, like... I'm optimistic right now, but we still have so much ahead of us, dude. We're like a quarter through, I think, at this point, and it's been an hour. Yeah, it's been an hour. Could you imagine this fucking level with the old physics? I'm gonna be real. The answer is no for me. Oh, I clipped that, dude. Xbox, Xbox record, record that. that. Uh, uh, am I? Oh my god, I might just be the worst player. The worst player arc, it begins. Oh my god, I wasn't even moving to the right. Alright, now is the time that matters. We simply need to make this first try. I missed the first jump. Alright, we get another shot. One opportunity, or one shot, one opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, fuck! Okay. Get another shot right here. Oh! It's getting more consistent now, which I do like. What? Various. Various. Five. Five times. Four fucking seconds. It, it took, took four, four fucking, fucking seconds, seconds for me for you to piss me off. There he is. 
There he is. There he is. Come on, here we go. I full reset. You know what? No, no. This is a positive thing because you know what? Tonight is not the fucking night. It's already 10 o'clock. We have not gotten as far as I wanted to. Let You know what? Let's just exit out right now. Guys, we are completely fine with that. Does that hurt? Yes, but it's very attainable to do that again. The biggest thing that I was having trouble with was that section right there, which is easily work on. Like, I can work on that. Hey, remember when Activision confirmed they would stop releasing COD annually? That's right, Major. They did. I lied. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Apparently, Bobby Shitdick just couldn't help himself, and he needed this World War II game every year was getting old. It's why Infinite Warfare got so much shit when it was revealed, because it was the third futuristic COD game in a row, and why fans initially praised COD World War II for going back to a boots-on-the-ground setting. I've always felt this series was at its most creative during the Black Ops Modern Warfare sagas, because every year we alternated between two timelines, the multiplayer feel more rehashed than it should. The biggest complaint I have is the campaign. It's the worst in the franchise. How on earth could this be worse than Ghost? New dog model. Black Ops 3. Train go boom. And Vanguard. I shoot Nazis. They die. Well, remember when Master Chief took off his helmet in the first episode of the Halo TV show? I never thought I'd have to suffer more than I did that day. The game opens with some military guys approaching what looks like the Gulag from MW2. Apparently, we're here to rescue Prisoner 627. Yeah, we got that done really moment, quickly. Things are looking all right. It feels like a regular mission, and you don't yet realize your plan is to bad guys. Mm, who? Who is it? Oh, it's just some guy. What? 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 That's Makarov? <laughs> I thought it was just some random guy. He doesn't look like Makarov at all. Russian Ben Shapiro as Makarov. He does kind of look like him. It's a little weird. Oh, the Let's first try, what? That Aiden pulled the trigger and now he's dead. Let's assume that life had just begun, but now everything has been thrown away. Makarov and his cronies mount their escape. They stop in an elevator where one of them suggests waiting until the guards are distracted. Makarov says to delay adds risk. Yo. Asks us, Who holds power in this Am I the best? Guards. Makarov is out. He's on the move, John. This causes Price to panic, and he aborts the mission. Abort! Turn us around! Turn us around now! Wait, what? I just needed something cool to say. Okay, uh, here's a lesson in avoiding basic screenwriting fuck-ups. You need to let the audience know what's at stake if we're going to care. The purpose is out. He's on the move, John. Looks like this it's gonna have to wait. And the scene fails to do the one thing that's meant to create drama and fear around our antagonist. Anyways, we abruptly cut to Clara and Alex who are on their own mission and wait. Yeah. You're supposed to be dead! Am I not? Didn't you die in a fiery explosion that was manually detonated? Dude, what is going on with me right now? Five minutes? Can I do this on stream sometime, maybe? That would be kind of cool. South America. I wasn't in that day. Somehow Palpatine returned. What the fuck I wasn't in that thing. Shitty writing. How do you kill off two characters and then write them both back into the series in the exact same way? Hey, I thought you died. Nope. First try. Oh my god. Parklov military base, the stadium, Gora Dam. All these areas are blatantly recycled from war zones. Oh, dude, this is a fucking part of the campaign right here. The, yeah, this is the fucking... Oh, yeah, that's the one where you're like, where you're playing twice and he's getting gassed. Even the worst Call of Duty campaigns always felt original. All right, first try. Come on, let's let's do this. Let's get it over with. I don't want to deal with this section anymore. 
from the campaign into multiplayer spec ops and zombies not the other way around so guess what happens it's a domino effect oh my god all right we did it have to write a compelling story and try to create dynamic missions in areas that were designed for a battle royale not single player what's the result we call them open combat missions it's the biggest piece of dog shit I'll admit, it's an idea that could have worked. Todd rarely dabbles in non-linear levels, and when they do, it's usually the highlight of the campaign. But these are clearly a result of Rush development. They're meant to pad out the runtime in a campaign that somehow manages to still be the shortest in franchise history. Six of the 14 missions are open combat. Even when 40% of the campaign is filler, what? they can barely make this crap more than four hours long. The objectives okay, are I guess. super exciting. Things like You're stealing from Makarov's future, not mine. Oh okay, God, uh, I'm gonna steal all your money. <laughs> Fuck you. That account is my money. I fought for it. I earned I'm as good as dead without my money. I need my money. Sounds like Activision. So anyways, Makarov is transporting something to a prison. Turns out it's Shepard? What? Huh? When did he get captured? How? Where was Graves? Do we ever find out? No! God damn it, hold on. Weren't you just submerged in freezing water? Why aren't you shivering? How come you show no signs of hypothermia throughout this entire mission? Well, Bryce, it's because... $70, please. One wrong move. And I'll put a hole through you. I remember how all this started because you didn't kill Makarov when you had the... Ah, oh, screw it. Why do we have to fight our way to an evac route? We planned this out enough to where we knew exactly where they would be? Why didn't the helicopters just pick us up right here? So then Sledgehammer's frozen a random AC-130 mission for no reason. Whoa. Okay, that. Wow, you are not supposed to look up. Oh, God. Don't look up. That is... Ooh. That is rough. Why didn't they... Why didn't they why didn't they finish the background? Can we not come up with new set pieces anymore? Are we so desperate for ideas we have to keep recycling this too? You can really tell they had to squirt this game out faster than my explosive diarrhea because I don't even think they had time to make a soundtrack. Anything okay, moment, Lost Forest done. Feel something? That's huge, that's huge. Yeah, you know, it's like, like, where's Old the Castle music? up next, it's... You know? Oh god, this is gonna be scary. Boring. I think it's just because there's... There's really nothing happening. Miller! Pass the arch cord! Ooh, baby. Oh, come on. I've heard elevator music more intense than this soundtrack, dude. to compose is generic and forgettable, but if you listen carefully at the end of matches, you can hear the faintest whisper of the militia theme. <sighs> okay. is choking out the last breath of creativity and identity this series once had. Oh, you want good music? Oh, buy the Han Zimmer pack for $15, because that's now a paid feature, dickhead. So we shoot down Makarov's helicopter with a Predator missile, and it crashes in a blaze of hellfire. The team goes to confirm the kill, but then Shepard says, We need to search the site for PID on Makarov. Your orders are to stand down. We got nothing but fire and brimstone out there, and that's all the confirmation we need. 
You want to go out on a whim, right? But you're telling me to not look around for his body. Our secondary antagonist is a fucking idiot. It's over, John. We nailed that bastard to hell and gone. Yeah, that's what we said about you little shadow clay, yeah? Yes! Yes, exactly! Makarov's gonna reappear and be like, Nah, I wasn't hitting that helicopter, right? <laughs> but instead of doing the most common sense thing and taking 20 minutes to search the area, our heroes are content to wait for Makarov to show himself by committing another war crime. And you know what? This story makes me want to commit a few war crimes of my own. Now we're in a courtroom because the writers have to resolve conflict in the most boring settings possible. Despite having all the evidence that Makarov and not the ULF is behind these terrorist attacks, they needed Shepard alive so he could testify about it this scene served no purpose okay that was big that was big we needed that to go well this revelation changes everything in a twist similar to bioshocks where we learn the character we've been playing as isn't a mere bystander he's been instrumental in all the events leading to this point Okay. Boys, Old Castle done. We're almost done. We're almost out of here. Yuri's flashbacks tie all the loose plot threads together. Soap's death feels more important than us witnessing the destruction of the Eiffel Tower. It's symbolic and a fitting end to the protagonist of the trilogy because we, as Price, get to avenge his death before the game ends. There's so many things happening around and after Soap's death. What's happening here? Well... I'll tell you. Absolutely the fuck. complete package. What the fuck is he happening? What the fuck? Where is he? He's fucking like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is the zombies I remember. Yeah, yeah. Just stay right there. <laughs> right there. Some fucking floating priest having a seizure in a wall. I am having so much fun. Alright. Here we are, checkpoint two, layer wow. six. Oh my god! Finally! Yes, I flew to that last jump! Finally! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we I think we finished it. I think we're done. Oh, okay. Funny bit, funny bit. Wow. <sighs> that outro kind of hits, actually.
like I read it before, but I I never really like read it before. Fuck. Yeah, it's probably an insane demon, actually.